Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, we are going to discuss another uh, topic in fire brigades. Um, in the last topic, we discussed, uh, we introduced what fire uh, aggregates are, and today, now we are going to discuss in detail about this uh, fire aggregates. Uh, so, as we discuss, when you understand properly about these fire aggregates, what are they? How do they work? Then you can work work out how to get rid of this uh, suffering, how to uh, stay away from the ignorance and how to see through the world in, 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 in its real way. And uh, so let's uh, have a look what uh, what they are. Uh, the first thing is uh, Rupa Rupa. It means the thing you see through your eye. So <clears throat> before getting to that, so we have I have to give you a bit of a uh, understanding about uh, how do we feel this uh, five aggregates? It's not like that individual understand. I mean, individual uh, rupa or in the when you see a car, you know, it comes with the five, the bunch of five. The uh, rupa rupa, uh, sorry, um, rupa, uh, the form, vedana, the feeling, the perception, um, sanya, uh, sankara, volitional formation or action. The fifth one is the consciousness, Vijnana. So those five are called the five aggregates. So when that single rupa, single Vedana, or single feeling, individual um, perception, we don't, we can't identify that. So that is too, too subtle. So that only uh, can be understood by the Buddha's wisdom. Because he can see through everything in, in up to very tiny um, little bit bit of pieces, but in our capacity we can't see. What we understand is uh, lots of things. So billions and billions and billions when they got together, the billions and billions and billions things happen in this split of second. So that's that's quick that is. So then, only then we understand when you see a picture, it means that five aggregates taken place billions and billions and billions of times. So when it comes to our understanding level, so you have to understand it's not like a single thing; it's a lot of things. So if you hear a sound, it's still that billions of things. So likewise, we have to understand. So that is called skanda. Skanda means skanda means mountain. So that's a mountain of five aggregates when they got together then only then we can feel ah, okay this is a car this is my wife this is my daughter that's pizza that's uh, the music of that particular singer so when it comes to that particular level it means a lot it's kind of the mountain of that thing okay now let's get into that well, the first one is a rupa rupa the the first form is the, the 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 way we see a picture through our eye so this rupa rupa or the form the first form the buddha has uh, explained that in very extended way so it's, it goes like anything you saw uh, in in past future present and internally or externally or uh, superior or inferior a gross or subtle or near or far so whatever you see in, in uh, bounded by all of these things so when you get together that's called rupa rupa so it's not like something we, we can't define that rupa rupa skanda with uh, something made up of the earth fire uh, water and air so those four components can't be used to define this rupa skanda because because let's say in billions of years ago something happened still buddha can see or some um, some monks with the developed mentality they can see that that is not not available to see physically now so it's gone so but because of this the the memories they can see that they can they memorize it but and it is also uh, coming under this rupa skanda or anything the buddha can see okay in next uh, thousand years time it's going to happen and then he can see through that but that has not been uh, that can't be physically defined with these four the components so uh, don't try don't under misunderstand that it is not something which can be uh, defined with this uh, 
four components, earth, water, fire, and air. So that's sort of a memory-like thing. So when you put everything together, that is called Rupa Skanda. Okay, let's say you, we, are, we are seeing a car. Okay, so that, that's the, the first thing Rupa, we see, a, okay, this is a blue car. This is this is something picture. This is blue. Oh, this this uh, this uh, this shape, and the feeling. This good. It's, you feel like something happened. Something good happened, bad happened, or neutral feeling. And the third one is that some sort of a, uh, identification. What that is? That's that's this shape car. And then action. What you're going to do about it? What you so when you see that, then you you figure out what you're going to do about it. And the four, uh, fifth one is the consciousness. Okay, then that when you get that uh, uh, vinyana skanda, the the consciousness, the a lot. Then we understand. Okay, this is this is the car I saw yesterday, and Daniel was driving. This is a BMW 2020 model. So that understanding comes to you with that vinyana skanda. Then you got together the everything you saw about this car the week ago, month ago, and when you were driving, and you saw Daniel was, Daniel was driving, and it was bought uh, from that particular agent. And when you know when you get that, get into that vinyana skanda, the whole holistic holistic understanding comes to your mind, and. The next one, let's take um, uh, your daughter is calling. So you that the sound, this vibration comes to it comes to you through your uh, ear. So then you get a good or bad or neutral feeling. The so third one, you understand. Okay, that's my that's daughter's that's my daughter's uh, sound. And the fourth one is. Um, what you're going to do about it and the fifth one is that the entire understanding about this is this is my daughter and she's talking about this and this this entire of uh, the holistic understanding the, the the consciousness so and when it comes to the nose you know let's say there is a the the, the perfume made by uh, abc company so then when you feel that so you got a feeling okay that smell goes through your nose and to your mind you feel something uh, good or bad or uh, neutral and then you understand okay this is some sort of a rose this is a lavender now that that sort of uh, identification what feeling is that and then what you're going to do about this is, is the action and the fifth one is the understanding about what it is so you know okay this is the lavender the smell and this uh, this was made by the abc company so that holistic understanding about this perfume that this smell and the taste let's say you are tasting a uh, 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 domino's pizza uh, chicken bacon and avocado pizza so you when you get that taste you know you feel like okay this is a, the the bitter taste or sweet taste or salty or that sort of uh, uh, that 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 taste is a perception, but when you get that when you get that uh, first taste, you feel like you have a you have a you taste it's, the taste goes through the your tongue to your um, mind, and then good or bad feeling that salty or bitter or um, sweet or whatever that that feeling goes through your tongue is a perception. And then what you're going to do about it is action and then the, the entire understanding about this pizza is consciousness and uh, the fifth one is a touch you know if you your little daughter comes and give you a hug so then you feel like okay uh, that's a soft touch that the touch and then the feeling good or bad or uh, neutral feeling and you understand okay, this is a soft touch or a hard touch uh, this is painful that sort of <laughs> per, uh, perception and then what you're going to do about it the fifth one is okay this is my little daughter so that understanding is the entire understanding is called consciousness through this touch the uh, call we call it in Pali so now you have to understand anything and everything we are doing in this world is to satisfy these five uh, six senses and the sixth one you got uh, the, the mind and there is still the when you come uh, when the uh, thought comes to your mind you understand okay a thought comes to your mind then then good feeling bad feeling or neutral feeling and what sort of thought that is and then what you're going to do about it the entire understanding is the mind consciousness there are six consciousnesses 
um, through these six senses. So, so understand that this is how you see through the world. So anything and everything you are doing is to satisfy these six senses. So uh, try to understand the, entire, the extended definition and uh, it, it can be um, uh, applied to each and every, you know, that five for one. Uh, say the eye, there are, there are five aggregates for six senses, 30. So altogether, the thought that's 30 um, the individual items uh, that in extended definition has to be applied so then you understand that the entire the the whole thing uh, properly so um, hope you understand that and then that's it for today and then we'll come up with another video uh, a little later so everyone's are nice